What if I told you that as a student, you can get 100 in free Azure credits with no credit card required? That's right. Microsoft is literally giving away cloud computing resources worth hundreds of dollars, and most students have no idea this exists. Welcome to Pure Code Tech, where we simplify tech education. I'm here to show you exactly how to access Microsoft Azure for students, walk you through the complete verification process, and reveal the incredible tools you will unlock completely free. By the end of this video, you will know the exact steps to verify your student status and start building real-world cloud projects without spending a dime. So if you're a systems administration, networking, or any computing student who wants to gain practical cloud experience, stay with me for the next minutes. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the sign-up process, let me show you why this is an absolute game changer for your studies and future career. Microsoft Azure for Student is a free program that gives verified students access to Microsoft Enterprise Grade Cloud Platform. Think of it as your personal playground for learning cloud computing, server management, networking, and infrastructure that exact skills employers are desperately looking for right now. Before I start the application process, make sure I have these things ready. One, a valid student email address. This is usually your school email ending in .edu or your institution's domain. For example, your name at university.edu or your name .student.school.acid. Two, if your school email doesn't work, don't worry. You can use proof of enrollment instead. This includes a current student ID card showcasing your name and school, an official transcript, an enrollment verification letter from your registrar or tuition receipt. Thirdly, you must be actively enrolled in an accredited academic institution. This includes university colleges, community colleges, and even some coding boot camps or technical schools. And finally, you need to be at least 13 years old. Open your browser. And in the new tab, type in the search bar azure.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash free forward slash students. And press enter. You will be directed to this page where I will be seeing build in the cloud free with Azure for students. So I'll click on start for free. You can start with $100 Azure credits and no credit required for students, no credit card required. And I'll click on start free. You will be directed to the sign up page for Microsoft account. So if you have one, you can just sign in, or if you don't have, you can create one. So I click on create one. You'll be brought to this page where you can where you can create your Microsoft account. I'll create mine very fast. I click next and create your password. Add some details. Make sure for if you choose your specific country and then your date of birth. Click next. Add your first name and last name. Proceed to next. So here it will ask you to prove that you're human. So press and hold until it is full. You'll be directed to this sign up, sign in faster with your fingerprint open. So you can create pass keys or you can skip. I'll just skip. For now,
then you'll be brought this academic verification page where you'll be required to fill in your student details. Make sure that you fill in the exact details that you have on your student ID such that you're not delayed or Microsoft doesn't hold your account under vetting system. So I'll go on and I fill in the exact details of the student ID I'm using. Make sure to choose your country as Uganda and avoid using VPN as it will also delay the process of you acquiring the Microsoft Azure for student. So go on and type your school name or campus name. For my case, I would use Makere University Business School of Kampala. But you can use any campus where you're residing from. So also add the correct date of birth that is on your student that you, you gave with your student ID. Then enter your school email. Make sure to add a valid campus email that assigned to you by your university. Then you come here and solve the puzzle by clicking next. So you will use the arrow to make sure you, that you match the image in the left. And I click submit. As you see, my ver verification is complete. So I'll verify my academic status. I'm going to verify my academic status. When you click that, you will be directed to this page where it will say, tell you that verification email has been sent to the school email you provided. So please follow the instructions in the email to complete offer of verif activation. So make sure you have the valid email and you can accept, access it. So I'll click on my Gmail. And then I'll come to my Gmail box. We've received the Microsoft email here. I'll click on it to open. As you see here, we have Microsoft academic email. So you see I have received this email because you recently requested to verification via Microsoft academic verification service. And this email is, for, is still under vetting, uh, under Microsoft vetting services. So make sure you use the correct information such that you're not delayed or your, your, they don't deny you the offer for student benefits. Because if you use wrong information that, that doesn't match your ID, they will show you things like you're not eligible for the offer. So to complete your academic status verification, you will see this message that says to complete your academic status verification, please click the link below. The link will automatically expire in five days. So this is the link you have to, cl to click on and proceed to the verification page. We will go on and click on this link to go on the verification page. Click on it. It will direct you to a fresh page. As you're seeing here, it is saying take advantage of your academic status. I'll go on and I start here, start the puzzle. To protect your account by solving the puzzle. So such that they verify your real person. I'll click on start. Then it is saying match the number of rocks with number on the left. So for your case, it can be different, but make sure you always follow the instruction. 
So they want us to match this number to the images given here. So you use these direction buttons to navigate through. As you're seeing here, I'll click on this. So these are the four rocks required. Click on submit. Then my verification is complete. Then they'll take you to take to verif the final verification page where they are saying take advantage of the academic status. And I click on verify. So it will take some few minutes or hours to verify your, your, your status. As you see here, it says congratulations, your academic status has been completely and successfully verified. And it will take you to this page. If you've used the correct information, it will just take few minutes as you've seen mine. So here you will just create a new fresh tab where I will type photo.azure.com because we have been verified and click enter it will take you to Azure portal then as you think welcome to Azure so here you can start with a free trial if you don't have any student details. But for our case, we are interested in Azure for students. I will come here and click on this start button to complete our process. I've gone and I click on start. So it will bring you back to this page. You just go on and click. Uh, start for free. I click start free. Yeah, it will take you to the final page where you will be required to check your final details and then confirm your student's ben benefit that is given to you. So as you're seeing here, it is saying Azure for student, get a hundred dollar credit in Azure credits and free access to popular cloud services plus developer tools like Visual Studio Code. Here you will check on your profile. As you're seeing here. So you'll check on your profile. You have to accept the Microsoft agreement. Then you can add in your city or not. You can leave some, some options blank, but you have to fill in the must options. So here you're required to enter your phone number and make sure you put a valid number such that the system doesn't block you out or lock you out. Make sure to check this, the Microsoft customer agreement and private statement. Then click sign up. Oh, also you have to fill in your address line one. I'll fill mine very fast. Then you click sign up. You'll be brought to the final page where it is uh, asking you to protect your account by enabling the multi-factor authentication. So this helps you to block more than 99% attacks. So you'll click next. Then you'll also be required to set 
an alternative email address. So as here, you can also use a phone number, but I encourage you to use an alternative email as, you, as in you access your code very fast. Because sometimes with the mobile numbers, they can delay to send you the code. So I'll, you see, you can choose the number and then your country, but I'll go with the email. Click next. And I'll pick my code from my email and I put it here. So it has been sent to that email. So I'll check for it and then come back and put it in here. Click next. Then it is confirming my information. And it is redirecting me to the Azure portal. As you are seeing here, we've been able to access the benefit and as you're seeing here it is showing education right now i've been able to subscribe to my student uh, benefits for azure so also they've given me a hundred dollar credit here as you see so this will expire in 365 days if this video helped you Please hit that subscribe button to join the Pure Code Tech community. We are building a library of practical tech education to help students like you to succeed. Smash that like button so YouTube shows this to more students who need it. And also don't forget to drop a comment telling me which Azure service you're most excited to try. Are you diving into virtual machines, building networks, or learning DevOps? Let me know. Share this video with your classmates. They will thank you when they discover they've been sitting on free cloud resources this whole time. And in the upcoming videos, I'll be showing you how to deploy your first virtual machine, set up a complete network lab, and automate infrastructure with code or using your free Azure account. This is Pure Code Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.